got to learn about nothing. Yay. Yay. Let's go. We back. did it. Yay. We back. We back. back to a. Uh, about to learn about nothing. We are the black crew. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the memo. I don't know why they called no, me. No, I think you got the memo <laughs> just fine. You just ignored it. I think you got the memo just <laughs> fine. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, is that what you say? Mm-hmm. So I like that, guys. I swear. I think. Curious. I hope. Going back to a lot of other things, we were talking about extensive social topics. This is an entertainment show where we try to have fun and, you know, get to know things. Sometimes we have facts. Uh, other times we don't. This time we might have some facts. I think I looked up a little bit. So bright. Uh, this is your first time listening to the show. Welcome. This is your second time listening to the show. Also, welcome. If this is your last time listening to the show, I understand. <laughs> Jesus. It's not for everyone uh, The last couple episodes The sound has been shit But I've been working on it I've been here two days in a row Working on it Hopefully Slaving. Hopefully I fixed it this time Maybe not <laughs> But It's it's important to show That we're still a small store You know We're working We're learning still Alright So bear with us I'm doing my best I'm doing my best uh, We have our favorite um, Man Of Uh you ever, you ever heard that um, song, Man of the Year? Oh, yeah. By uh, Scooby Q? Yeah. Well, that's Riker. Welcome, Riker. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, me and, uh, me and Schoolboy Q, you know, we go way back. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And he was like, I want to write a song about you. I was like, hey, man. Do what yeah, you got to yeah, do. I remember. If you got to. Yeah, I remember you told me that story, yeah. I'm like, oh, Q, what? That's crazy. That's that guy. Yeah. Hey. My name is Chris. Over here we have. Oh, Trey the Third. That's true. I have a name. Trey the third over here we have. Hey, it's me, Victor. Victoronius. Oh, oh. Victorious. 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 Hmm. What was my um? Oh, cresticles. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, mm, sir, cresticles. That's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uncle K. <laughs> yeah, I go. I go with Uncle K. I like that. Oh better. man. Actually, I gotta go see my nephew soon. My sister sent us a video of him, and I'm like, must go see some, my little boy. <laughs> yeah. um, my boy. My boy. Today we're gonna talk about uh. Some service jobs and why America don't appreciate them That's and true. how we'd be shit without them. That's true. I know it sounds too educational, but I promise it won't be. <laughs> We're going to be talking about people fighting at McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah or yeah, throwing yeah. gators through the drive through window. <laughs> right, 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 right. I'm not going to lie. This noise gate does not sound good to me. But mm. as I'm recording this twice, <clears throat> the plot. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, I think we'll be all right. I'm recording it also on the. Uh, an audition. I think I have a better chance in audition than anywhere else. We'll, we'll see. Do you think, we'll man? See. We'll see. Sound effects. Yeah. Don't, do, don't do that. No? Don't oh. do that. <laughs> no, that, that doesn't help. I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't help. I just got to make your voice sound level. Though. Yeah, it That's is. That's going to take like an hour. Ah, freak. Yes. I'm sorry, man. My bad. And my man, you need to come a little closer. Oh, God. It's happening to everyone. To that, yeah. None of us know how to talk. Oh, God. No, um, my man is just don't don't be talking into. Oh, that's pretty far. Oh. It's a condenser microphone. Oh, you also, talk a bit closer it is the it. side of it that you talk into, not the top. Yes. Yes. So you can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Take it from here. There you go. Yes. There we go. Teamwork. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Teamwork. How's everybody doing? Chilling. Yeah, man. Been chilling. It's all right. Ooh. Also chilling. <laughs> Mild zombie energy, but okay. Yes, doing all right. Also chilling. How are you doing, Cress? Ah, oh, I'm glad you asked, bud. Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. Nothing's different. <laughs> Nothing's different. I'm the same. Not much crazy. Did you guys see New York got their rat czar? The rat, what, the or the rat what? czar? I'm glad you asked. Rap or rat? Rat. Oh. Like the rodent. Like 6 9 Yes. <laughs> Uh, I remember I seen a video of this big ass rat that was like as big as a little like a little little dog, yeah. like a little terrier. I've seen that, yeah. that but freaky. it was a rat. <laughs> that was freaky. Yeah, yeah. I'm not about that. Um, rat. Czar. So New York got their rat czar. It uh. <laughs> so a- it's this lady who her main job is to get rid of the rats in New York. So, mm-hmm. she's a former teacher. Let me pull up the thing real quick. Former teacher. Yeah, former teacher. Exterminator. Turned exterminator, yeah. Is this a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles origin story? No, 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 not not, not great. Oh, okay. No, no. Sorry, guys, I didn't know. I had, um... Could be anything. Oh, this is too high. My bad, I'm just adjusting the the noise gate as I go. Okay. No worries, man. It's gonna be, like, live editing. Sorry, everybody who's listening. 
just gonna good luck everybody else <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i can't that's a family guy reference that's don't, great, don't great kill reference. me on it no i agree you canceled. don't get, you don't get canceled no, but also a family guy reference. good reference Okay. Oh, where's my phone? Hold on. Asian and Pacific Islander Heritage Month thing for like another. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we're twelve days, so I think you're okay. So I got it. Yeah, you should right, be cool. fine. You should be fine for now. Yeah. Right. She's like, hold on, let me make sure something check real quick. Hold on. All right, let me pull her up real quick. Cancel you on May first. Not like this. <laughs> when does this episode go up? Friday. Okay. okay. <laughs> you got time. You got time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me see. If this is on Bluetooth. Oh, here we go. My specific director as New York City's first director of rodent mitigation, yeah. I will bring a science and mm-hmm. systems-based approach mm-hmm. to reducing New York City's rat population. Mm-hmm. Eradicating them. With a strong focus on cutting off the food, water, and shelter rats need to survive. Mm-hmm. And ensure every New Yorker is prepared oh. to take up this mantle in this fight. Pizza rat may lay, live in infamy. But rats and the conditions that support their thriving will no longer be tolerated in New York City. No more dirty curbs, unmanaged spaces, or brazen burrowing. Well, yeah, this is There's a new sheriff in town. Hungry game. <laughs> and with your help, we'll send those rats. There's yeah. a new sheriff that in is, town. That's a new sheriff I in got town. a question about pizza rat. Is that like a <laughs> that's a, meme. a big ass rat? Yeah, that it, was, no, it was like yeah. carrying a pizza He's, like up some stairs or some nonsense, yeah. dude. This so why wild. why specifically a czar? I don't know. I think well, her, probably because she sounds like title, literally genociding people. Okay, like is how it sounds. I'm just saying, not people. I, that's that's true. We're just saying how it sounds, but she is saying it. You replace the roared rat with literally <laughs> anything else. Yes, and she sounds pretty pretty. This sorry. is indeed genocide. <laughs> it sounds pretty sorry. Is all I'm yes, saying. Yeah, but why I mean, specifically czar? Czar yes. also is peculiar. I'm not sure. Like, well, I mean, because you can't call of- her the rat fear. That's like <laughs> that's no. a bit much. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah, a little yeah. heavy. She didn't bring up gassing them. That's what they're going Whoa. to do to them. But she didn't talk about gassing the rats. That's the what I mean, you. I'm just saying. If you're trying oh, to, uh, you said God. it. She said, said fewer. I don't no, know what else. No, we're definitely getting canceled. What else? 100 percent canceled. This is the last episode of. How much longer nothing? are we here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't. Her 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 position title is director of rodent mitigation. Rodent mitigation. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that was a title. What's they the, created uh, it? You didn't see um the news like months ago where they they had they were looking for people. To sign up to what's the starting salary? They created this job. What's the starting salary? She makes one hundred fifty thousand a year. Damn, she banking. banking. Yeah, I figured she would be. Man, that's that's a big that's tall order. One hundred fifty five thousand starting. New York's a big. That's that's a lot of rats to kill. I mean, she needs it to live in New York. So, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, it's true too. Just saying. Yeah. No way. She lives outside the city. (laughs) Got to. She has to live upstate because there's no way. She's like, I ain't, stay, I ain't staying next to all these rats. <laughs> I can't do it. I do. I know what I got to use to kill them. I can't yeah, hold be on. around it. Come you on, dirty ass people and your pizza rats. <laughs> that's, hey, yo. that's what this, I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just saying. I heard how I she know. was talking. She was very excited to, to genocide these rats. Might all be right. time for a career change. You know, listen, you can sign up. She's a lot of rats. employees. There's a lot of rats. No, no, no. I want her position. Oh. <laughs> you can't have her. Position. If you kill enough rats, man, you might get to you know talk about. I know. feel like my position as rats are. I do it as kind of like a Tom and Jerry approach, where we all get like comedically <laughs> large hammers and shit. <laughs> And just go, go like around the street. Uh, <laughs> big, like, company logos on them, so it seems, like, official. <laughs> and just start smushing them. You, yeah, yeah, you have to make, like, a rat-killing day, I feel like. Or, like, a week where, like, every year you get everyone together. You get, like, put out some volunteer calls or whatever. And uh, Maybe we can get some cats and give them the hammers. Yeah, well, I'm exactly glad you rats. said that. My coworker suggested getting cats from Australia because oh. they have a huge cat issue. They have a huge... The cats uh, over there, they've actually... They have such a big cat issue that some of the cats have made some smaller species go extinct because they've hunted yeah, them down to, right. to yeah. death. That so sounds right. he's like, why don't we import cats from Australia? We could. Release them in New York. Is it wise to do it in this Because then we got too many cats. That's what, I, that's what I said. I'm like, so what about after the rats? Yeah. <laughs> and cats breed ridiculously fast. And we just fast. have like, wildly predatory cats all over exactly. the streets yeah. now. Exactly. And then what happens when all the rats are gone? They're going to come after you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
They're going to come after you, viewer. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like Australia mm. is getting ready to lose another war to animals. Bro, oh, man. Even now, the cats oh, man. like yeah. this. I mean, honestly, I feel like Australia's got bigger shit to worry about they've than been, cats. They've been fighting the kangaroos Not that the cats aren't a problem, though. but like, yeah, man, I don't know if y'all seen some kangaroos, but the some kangaroos of them are swole. Get, Yo, they get kind of Kangaroos shredded. square up, bro. They're like, <laughs> Yo, are you ready? What's up? Ooh, What's good? Yeah, bro. I, I ain't mess with the kangaroos. They're too swole, man. I, I, I see it. I see it. The boy's different, man. <laughs> Differential. Yeah, no. I wouldn't uh, be a rat czar. Man, rat czar. But also, uh, I'm not mad at the position. Why not? Rat czar. Rat czar. Czar. Rat, rat I feel it's pretty cool. Rat- <laughs> <laughs> Why are you like this? Oh my God! Is it, can you, I'm lying. Can you do like right the Saddam now. rat scene, or can you do like rats uh, feuding, baby? You know, rats you know, feuding. Like, well, speaking of New York news, yeah, uh, did you guys ones. see uh, that parking garage that collapsed? What? Yes. Where is mm-hmm. this one? Yeah. Yeah. In New York. Oh. Mm. There's a parking garage that collapsed. Uh, I think it was on like the first floor, second floor, something like that. But it just straight caved That's in. Pretty mm-hmm. horrific. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, obviously the streets were closed down for a minute. And in New York, you can't move, yeah. you can't no, walk I, anywhere. I'm anywhere. I'm curious on that investigation. Me too. Yeah, I'm waiting for more information. What, to come I want to learn what failed in that Same. structure. Same. But I always feel like whenever I or when I went to New York, I always felt like one one like strong breeze and she's gonna fall over. <laughs> I, every time I, the buildings I, I, I feel like are too tall Honestly, that's I every well no the, the buildings are made to sway like there's give in any of those buildings you can stand at the bottom yeah. of any of them and see it swaying I mean yeah. technically I'm really yeah are they really yeah no they're, they're designed not. they're designed to have it's sway like no, so it's totally rigid like it would get blown over like, <laughs> yeah, like a it'll thunderstorm. collapse mm. easily so all it's, it's got to be able to absorb something. Yeah, because like, I mean, like, you know, you're going wind. like 30, 40 stories up, and yeah, like yeah, the yeah. wind is so much stronger up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. And it is. you're that top heavy. It's like you need to have a little give. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All those buildings are designed to have some give. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. It's always scary for me. All those big buildings. No. Nah. Someone sleeping? That is in back. I think they're doing the song. Oh, I thought someone was snoring up a storm. <laughs> no, that's. That been fire. That's intense. Oh, but yeah, I, I'm always scared of New York buildings. But you know, all the firefighters and all the servicemen were able to help and get people out of there. I don't, I don't know, like there's like a death toll or anything like that. I don't think it was that crazy. I hope not. I hope not. Too. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot about this before we start. Uh, Shell came up to us and showed us this video of you guys remember the mountain from Game of Thrones? Yeah. 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 <gasps> oh, him and his girl. <laughs> I hate this video. I'm about to ruin your life. I hate this video. It's I'm disgusting. I'm about to ruin your nights it's and disgusting. your days. Listeners, if you're squeamish, don't. No, I'm. Don't. No, it's not. All right. Seeing it is not squeamish. It's hearing it. That's now I got to hear it. Oh, Dude. Okay. I don't no, no, no. Wait, wait, don't play that here. Don't play that here. I'm not going to watch. Give him, give him the headphones. Play it immediately. Give him the headphones. Yeah, I'm not. I don't need it. I'm not trying to hear that. All right. So. Mm-mm. So this is the mountain weightlifting, and he tears his pec. I'm good. Oh, I don't need. He tears his pec. All right, I want to watch it anyway, though. You want to watch it? No, yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> All right. I'm running back for you. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my! Oh. That's so bad. Oh. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. No, you're not, bro. <laughs> hey, I, if, if listen, if you weren't ready for that, right here, it's in there. If you weren't ready for that, I warned you. I know, but God, I warned you. See it. What does that have to do with the episode? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Mm-mm. Nothing. Nothing. It's just she sold it to me, and I'm like, all of your good is my most pain. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's years, so disturbing. God. Like oh. every bro, it sounded like a shirt ripping. <laughs> you, you, let's mm. let's move past it, please. I'm I'm just saying we have questions. This is why this is why I'm just gonna stay fat. Forget lifting weights. <laughs> 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 I might tear a peck. <laughs> Never tear a bicep. With another bag of chips, baby. <laughs> 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 Fuck <Bro>. that shit! <laughs> Listen, dude. I like the sound of that better than the sound of dude tearing his I pecs. Can't even, bro. Knowing that you heard it makes me hurt. Okay, like, oh. I, man, can we? Can you ask a question? Yeah, 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 I, I feel like this man has some questions to ask. Oh, he does. 
He does. <laughs> Let's start with number one. Why would you fucking show that? Because <laughs> 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 oh, no, I asked for it. I don't know why. I'm he did. I was just gonna say you asked me to do this. Because his surgeon is essential. The yeah. trauma. Yeah. Mm, yeah. This uh-huh. this was insanity. Mm, I'm yeah. sorry. I gotta cleanse myself. Yeah. So our service people. <laughs> Listen, those guys who lifted that weight off his pegs was the service people. That's boy. true. The Oosh, spotters. The spotters. They important. Dog, that's crazy. Listen. So, guys, yeah, today we're going to talk about into things. Not working out or bodies or muscles because <laughs> yeah, that sorry. hurts. I'm just going to have to be flabby. Uh, questions today are about the importance right. of serving jobs and service, service jobs. jobs and, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Kind of those uh, essential workers, if you will. Riker, technically we have service jobs, right? Yeah. We we do. I was actually explaining that to our new hire recently because it's like kind of his first official job. And mm-hmm. I was like, you know, it's, mm. you know, oh, I see support. Like, hire? Well, no. Who, okay. yeah. <laughs> like, um, and I was just telling him, you know, because I was like, this is a, cu- it's a customer service position at the end of the day. We're, we don't have customers, but like you got to talk to them in your customer service voice. They come to you with a problem and it's your right, job right, to right. fix it. Yeah. The customers like, are you internal. Gotta, you got to put on your, your customer service smile mm-hmm. and your customer service voice. Mm-hmm. Okay, sir. I understand your frustration. <laughs> I get you. Have you tried plugging it in? Yeah. 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 Can we restart yeah. the computer? Right, right. That fixed it. Oh, fantastic. fantastic. Wild. <laughs> Crazy. Wild how that works, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, it's but, awesome. But no, you know, I'm, glad, I'm glad it was easy. Yeah, no. Who knows? Yeah, that, yeah. Who knew? Yeah, who knew it that easy? Yeah, technically, we have service jobs helping other people at, at work. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we're servicemen. And I was service before that. I worked service all my whole life. I'm still doing it. You work in a restaurant, yeah? Restaurant, security guard. Is that one of the worst jobs? No, as a service person, mm, I feel like it's important, and I f- feel like everybody should do it. Mm. I think so. My aunt um, would always say yeah. she was a food and beverage director at um, Planet Hollywood. Not no, that this is my other aunt. She, oh, yeah, yeah, no, she she died a while ago, but um, Condolence. she was uh, she was food and beverage director for one of the the groups. I forget what it was called. But uh, like one of the groups that like owns the restaurants in the casino, mm-hmm. like in the casinos. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's what she would do. But she's been in the restaurant industry pretty much her whole life. And she would always say to everybody, like, you know, family, whoever would listen, that everybody should work a kitchen job, mm-hmm. back a house, front of house. It doesn't matter. You need to do it because that gives you the perspective to understand what those people are going through in the back or mm-hmm. in the front. And if there's a night where you're busy or something goes wrong, you got to you know how it goes. Mm-hmm. Right, you shouldn't be. You got to treat these people with kindness. Yeah, I agree. and working a job like that helps you develop that empathy. Yeah, and I, I feel like that's important. Yeah. I agree. With Very that. important life lessons, especially that. like in America, where like tipping is a thing. Like, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. To to want to live off of tips and then like go and if you were if you were ever a server and you go leave a bad tip somewhere, shame, 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 heathenous, yeah. heathenous, yeah, shame. Especially in this culture, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know what it is, man. Like you get, you, you're choosing to go out to eat. You know what you're going out for. If you're not planning tip in, like what you're paying don't for, then why are you don't going go out? Yeah. Don't do it to yourself. If you can't man. afford a tip, you can't afford to go out. Yeah, that's that's yeah. how it is. Yeah. My biggest peeve is seeing groups and people argue about who pays or what uh, did they order. Uh, oh, like yeah, like, yeah, and they're figuring out the tip and they're figuring out what the, yeah. how to do it. I'm like, I, I feel like you guys should have. Oh, I judge. Should have been there. <clears> what any you guys want? We don't do that. Any groups, yeah. I. And I end up splitting whatever, but and then sometimes I like peek at what people leave for tips. I'm like, I judge in my head. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought I knew you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, damn, I would have spent do well. I would have spent your food. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> On a sixty-eight dollar check. Mm. Wow. Excuse me. Wow. Four bucks. Four bucks. Mm. Mm. Wild. Mm. Nasty business. Nasty business. Kind of hmm. we don't, But we don't do that when we go to groups. We usually no. either just split it evenly. Or some, everyone sends Victor the money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah Or since yeah. whoever pays, one of us pays, That's how it doesn't is. matter. I, I was looking at that and I'm like, because I saw a group of people arguing on Twitter where I live way too much. Oh, uh, like, you too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. And I'm like, oh my God, thank God my friends are mature. <laughs> we don't do this stupid shit. <laughs> We're better. Yeah, it's the dumbest stuff. High society. What are some service jobs you think are like high society? They're super undervalued besides being a teacher because God knows. Um, being is, is a teacher a service job? Hundred percent. You were serving these children. What do you mean? You don't yeah, have to. No, yeah, I guess it is. There's no items. Sanitation. You have to yeah. out to people. You just, 
Sanitation. Yeah. All Sanitation they're paid. workers, yeah. Fun fact. Uh, so my dad cut down a tree that's in front of my house. Mm-hmm. He cut down the whole tree. We didn't know mm-hmm. he was going to do that. We thought he was going to trim some of the branches that were hanging low. Yeah. Uh, motherfucker cut the whole tree. So he put the whole tree out for the uh, trash to pick up, and they left us a note on the one of the branches that attacked yeah. one of the branches. <laughs> and it was one of those neon orange notes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, basically it said, yo, it's too big. Yeah, you got to yeah. cut it up. Yeah, yeah we got Either we... No, it wasn't. We cut it up. Either we, uh, no, no, you got to cut it up before. Yeah, no, that's it. what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, we. It, it was cut. Yeah, it's either we take half of it back to the back, <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll pick up half, or we hire a company to come pick all of it up because it's too much. I think it's like uh, it had to be like. Past, it can't be past six cubic feet or something like that. Yeah. And it was more than that. If I had a problem, like with, because, you know, we do a lot of yard work or whatever. And like whenever we're doing renovations and stuff, we always got a big pile of stuff mm-hmm. out front. Yeah. So like whenever we got like a particularly big pile or like a lot of stuff to get rid of, we'll always go out. Like when the garbage comes by, I'm like slide them 20 bucks. Because ah. it's like, for sure. We, because yeah, one, it's just, you know, before. like, hey, sorry for like, you know, all dumping shit. all this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, it's like in case you weren't going to take it. Here's yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's to make sure you take it. It's a bit of all of it. Yeah. Hey, there's yeah. one more thing I forgot to throw out too. That's for uh, <laughs> that's for you. My that's for you. <laughs> uh, how um, I, well, usually I I can't catch him because usually it's like the the claw truck dude. Yeah, uh, and he's like the most mysterious guy ever because you never see him. <laughs> <laughs> early as crap. <laughs> yeah, he's super early. Or oh, you're at God. work and then you come back, it's gone. But what ended up happening is we actually paid them to. Remove it. It costs a hundred dollars for them to pick up all the the entire tree. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's probably like a quarter of a truck's worth of tree. Yeah, we didn't ask yeah. them to cut down the whole tree. That was the issue. <laughs> like, why'd you do this? But how big is the tree? You just walk um, out. That's a good question. Tree is missing. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know how to explain how big the tree you is. You pull out that stump too. No, no. The tree still stands. Is he it, just cut all the branches. Is it like oh. this thin oh, okay. palm tree yeah. right out front? I thought you were talking about like, he did some Paul Bunyan shit and just. Like, oh no 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 no. <laughs> no, the tree still stands. He just cut all of the. Is it like the um, almond tree out front, or is it like the big jackfruit tree? That's it's more very like tall? the jackfruit tree. The okay, almond okay. tree. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> al- he has an almond. He has an almond tree. Almond. Yeah. Yeah, mm. forget the tree, mm. but thanks to our, our, mm. our sanitation area. How do you yeah. pronounce Shout engineers? Out. Almond. How do you pronounce that one fish that's orange? Salmon. All right. Well, how do you pronounce this tree? Almond. Almond? <laughs> Almond. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm sorry. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Almond. Undervalued service see, workers. I, I we are never past this episode. Yeah. Undervalued service workers. We have flight attendants. Sanitation engineers. Oh, my God. Oh, flight you're, attendants. Oh, my God. Ooh, Speaking attendants. of Twitter, every time I open up that godforsaken app. <laughs> I see some shit on my timeline about some. I, I just saw one the other day of some some guy throwing a, a fit because there was some baby crying on the flight. Yes, I and saw then, that. And then goes, I saw they're that. like, "Sir, you need to calm down." He's like, "Did this motherfucker pay extra for his seat so he can start crying?" Yeah, 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 yeah. I paid extra for my seat, so I'm gonna keep yelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, <laughs> oh my. he's like, and, Sir? He, and his poor wife is sitting next oh, to him. She's embarrassed, fucking mortified, mortified just yeah. like. Exactly like you're looking right exactly. now. Just, exactly like that. Just, mm. She's like, yeah. this, like this. Oh my god, I felt so bad for that poor lady. Because like now, any, nowadays, dude, any any public blow up, you're getting recorded. Like, oh, 100%. You are you're on the socials. Any nonsense that you're doing, dude, if, if you're acting up, you're getting Karen and and, and you're on the you're socials. Like, so you got to deal with those people all the time. You got to deal with just Come being on. on a plane for like hours, hours and with hours this and hours. Nah, mm-hmm. and like the worst thing about planes, dude. Like, let's say you stay on. Everyone on that plane is going to despise you as a person. Like, I that's just such an awkward situation to even like be causing that much ruckus on a plane, man. Like, we're we're just trying to get from point A to point B, man. Why are you making this harder for literally any of us? Several, like, bro, get some fucking headphones, Doug. Thank you. Like, it's not. Oh my god, dude, they're planning. They got a bar at the airport. You can get alcohol on the plane. Thank you. There's planning for this. Take sleep on the plane. Take a nap. Easy claps. Bring some earplugs. Like, it's it's no big deal. Yeah, I mean, he said he said the baby was crying for like 45 minutes, and parents his ass is lying. The parents seem like they weren't doing anything. Crying for 45 minutes, bro. They fall. They fall asleep. Yeah, they run out of energy like fucking five minutes tops. Yeah, yeah, and. Also, again, you plan for a plane trip. Just bring some headphones, dude. Like, yeah. I had headphones. And at several points, I was just like, well. Technology. I could just put sound in my ear and yeah. not deal with this weird silence and plane sounds. 
and that was happy. Like, yep. Or pass out. Sleeping is the coolest thing ever. I love teleporting. Teleporting from one state to the next is one of the coolest <laughs> things ever. Teleporting. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep. Yeah, but these poor ah. flight attendants were trying to calm this dude down. Even off the flight, they had to call the police. He was still yelling at the police. This motherfucker said they told the, they told the dude while he was in the plane, it's like, "Sir, you're yelling." It's like, "So is he?" <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "He's a man. He's, he's a man." It's like, like you're like, a grown bro, ass man. Bro, you about to fight the baby? Yeah, yeah. about a fist fight. Oh, this how about child? you, Chris? Oh my what's, God. The, what's the underrated? Yeah, man. Service I employee. That, man. Underrated service employee. Yeah, man, what you or got? service position. Oh, that's a good question. I have two others, but like they're kind of obvious. So I'll wait for you. Like what? I don't. I don't have one in oh, mind. Like I uh, said, same. hairdressers and fast food workers. Fast food workers for sure. Mm-hmm. That's like the classic. And fast food workers for sure. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Fine, nail technicians. I didn't want to. Whoa, there, whoa, hey, yo! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cancel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Unbelievable. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm Un- sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. I figured there was there was a thing there. I'm this sorry. guy. Wow. So the true color show. Hmm. That was uncouth. I'm I feel sorry. like we should switch shirts. <laughs> <laughs> No, not like this. Hmm. Not, not my gumdrop bus. <laughs> no, so sorry. No, I like this shirt. That's funny, but that's Trey, your Edward is showing. <laughs> no! <laughs> Edward. Pisces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The third. The third. <laughs> Quite. That's quiet. <laughs> Mm. I'm sorry. I apologize. But yes, also Please fast food workers. Me. Yeah, I mean, I feel like yeah, restaurant industry as a whole, but yeah, like yeah. definitely fast, fast food, food workers. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Steak and Shake. Well, I'm probably gonna hit up after the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been That's reasonable. Ages, yeah. reasonable. You know, they're fries though. They're I haven't been to nice. Steak and Shake in years. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah, like on the way home for me, so it's like. There's one nearby. Uh, there's the one in Boynton. Boynton, next to that Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. There's Walmart, join you. there's LaGrange over there. They got, they I was, because after, after this, I was wondering, like, what do I want for dinner? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm glad we just got some firehouse subs, y'all. So, I mean. Uh, oh, you got firehouse? Yeah, that, yeah that, it's that, fire. firehouse. Yeah, it's, it's in the it, it, Honestly, it like a shout out to Steak and Shake specifically, like, especially back when they were open 24 hours before oh, we've had that. Mind Man, me and Victor oh. would head up Steak and Shake at like many, two in the morning. Many oh. adventures. There. Like, on a like weekly basis, at mm-hmm, least. Mm hmm. That was the spot, and we would always have the same the same waiter, bro. And he was always so cool, such nice. a nice guy. Nice. But always took care of us. I do miss steak and shake. Like man was always alone at yep. that time of the night. Dude, literally it blew my like, mind. They really have like one person in that yeah, building. Dude, that man is like he's like working the grill. He Everything. fucking comes yeah, back, bro. like makes the milkshake, takes the order. Yeah, I feel his soul like, like die every time he's. He, there's like, like a so. weird like two three a.m. rush. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we would be in there. There'd be like six tables, and it would be like one guy. Like why? It's like this man is a warrior. He deserves a six-figure salary because it's three it. in the morning. Yeah. So two people, put, you want one person there? What if well, it's no, no, yeah, two people is like yeah. yeah. Two uh, people would just be for safety. Yeah. Two, yeah, for that too. And I mean, yeah. even if it's only like one or two tables to have like that's one guy in the front, one guy in the back. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and say any salary between like twenty and fifty k is absurd for the country right now. In any like unlivable is yeah, like it is literally sure. actually unlivable if you're looking at any of the cost of living. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any actual like metropolitan area, yeah, like, and then if you go into a rural area, like great, they cost cheaper, and also the cost of living everywhere around you is now smaller. So your, your salary is going to shrink unless you're already a bajillionaire or yeah. wealthy. So that cuts out a lot of people of color. But if you live in these rural areas, then yeah, you if you don't have wealth, then it's great that you go in there with money, but your cost of living is going to go down. The things you're able to spend money on are going to go down. You got to order more things. Travel is going to be a different thing for you. So there's, yeah, there's just different things there. But I, I'm gonna leave that alone because <laughs> I'm again like the moving conversation. That's that's later on. We <laughs> did the podcast for that actually. So we'll that's stay true. with underpaid that's people. True. Why do you think people make service workers' jobs so much harder? Is it like a um Make, I've been wondering that my entire life. Wait, like what, you, what possesses somebody to just be a dick to a Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah. That's what you mean. Thank you. Yeah. Like making their lives harder. Like yeah. you wake up and you're Enjoy like, yourself. I'm gonna be rude to the server at mm, dinner tonight. Right. It's, I think it's probably like some weird subconscious like notion that I'm better than that. No, it's definitely entitlement. It's like this person is yeah. serving yeah. me food. America. Right. And which is like the one of the most like sacred loving things that you can do for somebody is like give them a meal, food, bro. Mm. And Rebellious, like, I love it. Preach, yeah. Mm. And, and I don't know, man. Like I'm getting, I'm getting upset thinking about it, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm getting upset. I'm yeah, getting tight, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro, people be yeah, just fucking food workers that 
is irksome. I mean, yeah. food workers in general, but anyone that has a service job, for example, Any someone service, at customer a, service in general, someone at a desk at a front desk. Yeah. 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 For example, also at the airport, there was this dude who's a uh, super upset. He was yelling like irate at the um, the worker at the. At the I don't know what airline it was, but at the front kiosk, kiosk yeah. area, he's yelling at her because they had canceled his flight, and I think they've been they've been sitting there like I don't know whatever amount of hours. Oh, I, I saw the you same saw that, one. Right? Yeah, it's we spent we spent like too a, much time on Twitter. I'm dude. telling you, <laughs> we have zero lives. But like it's him and like a group of people who's also on that flight, and he's like yeah. trying to speak for everybody, and he's yelling like at this lady's face, and I'm like, you think she called the pilot? And like, yo, don't fly here. Yo, this guy's yeah. here. Stop yeah. it. <laughs> That's like, it's the whole thing. You think she called it? Yo, cancel, cut the planes. Cancel the planes. The whole the thing fuck? is he's like, motherfucker, we've been here for 16 fucking hours, blah, blah, blah. And then like, at, like he's laying into this lady. And he's like, sure. I'm sure, he's like, I'm sure you're a nice person. <laughs> but but I'm like, yeah. trash, 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 trash. And yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, that like that's, that's some like worst. Ricky Bobby. Yeah, with all due respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. all due respect. And I'm like, this is trash. bullshit. You think she's the one that canceled the flights, bro? That's what I'm saying. This poor lady. He got up and has to come deal like because uh, these yeah. people were here for longer than a shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's got to pick up somebody else's fucking mess. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I actually, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just throw in the for the things underappreciated is any 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 service job that also includes like contemporary technology because like yes with IT but even when it comes like planes like people really don't understand planes that much they don't and so I had to like, come to terms with planes yeah, they, have to come, yeah. they just have to come to terms with planes and know they exist know that their job will make them go somewhere they require a plane mm-hmm. the process to boarding planes is yeah. actually way easier than I thought it would like thought it would be as mm-hmm. I, when I was younger but it really is like order it have your stuff ready have your IDs they need to kind of check that you're a person then they put you on the plane like, but there's a lot of people do not know that process Mm-mm. and are having the worst time of their lives trying to deal with planes. It's like, what do you mean I gotta have all this shit ready? And what do you like, mean you're? Tra- they you have it on the know. website, dog. Like they print it on your ticket. It's all right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I promise. Like you. they tell, like you just gotta read it. If you do it right, man, like you, you walk up. Hey, yeah, I'm here. Well, Here's my read. luggage. Walk through the freaking um the metal detector. That's always a cool looking thing. And then you walk to your plane. Like it, it's not as crazy as as you want to make it feel. But again, any technology thing. Or any modern science thing, you, you're going to have a lot of people who are worried and scared about the steps necessary and are yeah. freaking out about every step along the way. Just make it seem like rocket science when any, it's not. any inconvenience, the world has halted. But it's also because we're like the country is horrible at like teaching emotions, patience, and like reservation. Like I guess mm-hmm. like conservative, mm-hmm. sure, but not like reserved. Like mm. it's more like a no respect that others. Most likely are wealthier than you. Yeah. Yeah. We also Sorry, think we really. know everything. <clears throat> we think we know because we see things with our eyes. Mm-hmm. We think we know how everything works. No, not a, no single layman can tell me how uh, um, air traffic controller works. Hell no, Mm-mm. right? That's too much. No one can tell me how. Control. No one can tell me. No layman can tell me what a gauge means on a plane. That's too much science for you know one person saying? to be. They don't know everything. And they just think oh, I know I what an altimeter this. is. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what, that's about it. <laughs> like he, like even I don't know the, nothing. The I know the plane go up, down, and I'm alive. Yeah. Yep. Even the pilot doesn't know. And then when you land, everybody claps. Yeah. That's, we clap. <laughs> that's that's true. Clap. No. I don't, that shit is so weird. That's weird to me. No, it's like it. None of my, my none of my recent flights anyone clapped. I'm yeah, like, me neither. Are you, are you proud of the pilot, or are you proud that you survived? It's an American thing. Proud survived. Americans love clapping. We really do. Yeah, we we really love clapping. Like you, like you go and talk to anybody else that like comes and visits America, and they're like, you tip at restaurants, and they clap all the time. They clap at the end of the movie, and they, they clap talk, on the plane, and then lands. they talk to you randomly on yeah. the street. They're like, "Hey, how you doing?" Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> "Well, that depends on where you're at." Well, and you get the life story, yeah. like in general. Yeah, you do get the life story. I get that a lot. In general, Americans are just very uh, conversational to like strangers on the street or the elevator. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like especially like Europeans, they're like. They yeah. they get freaked out because everyone usually just like in their lane. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I know you're sitting around in an elevator, man. It's like, what else are you gonna hey, do? How are, are you? you? I always like, what's going on? I, I always think I those are really weird, like social experiments. Elevators. Anytime you're in an elevator with a bunch of other people, like, it's just 
it's just a weird feeling being in there. Like, do I start the conversation? Do I acknowledge that other people have smells? Do we talk about <laughs> what is happening right now? Why is that one what? guy facing this direct? Like, there's a lot. It's just weird. Elevator's a weird man. That's I mean, a service job that needs to come back as an elevator operator. That would cut through all of this awkwardness. The freaking, um, oh my God, at the parking garage. I would not be mad. If there's an if there's an elevator operator, like too many times, there are people doing stupid things. People who freaking piss all over the freaking numbers sometimes, who pee in the elevator sometimes. Nasty business. Like that's just nasty crap. I mean, it, it's. But again, we also don't pay people for, like mm-hmm. good salaries because I promise to God, like bro, if, if all these service jobs had like a living wage, like minimum pay, minimum wage, cough cough, then like I don't know. More people would do these jobs, like. But Edward, I'm a multi-billion dollar sorry. CEO. What's wrong with you? <laughs> You're right. I'm you make sorry. me sick. You're right. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm fool. I don't know why the average. Get your person. head back in the trough. You <laughs> know I wanted. That. <laughs> you make me sick. <laughs> Get back with your sheep, brethren. Yes. You know I needed that home in the Hamptons. What's wrong with you? Uh, Fun fact. Also, uh, I was also on Twitter. Oh, I um mm, surprising. I watched a video of the. Uh, CEO, I think it is of Herman Miller. You guys know who Herman yeah. Miller is? Oh my God, teach me. They are the luxury game luxury. chair makers. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. just well, gaming. Gaming. not just gaming chairs, but yeah. chairs. In general. Yeah. yeah, office chairs. furniture, uh, furniture, yeah. all that jazz. That Very be. luxurious stuff. Like this chair from Herman Miller costs like five hundred dollars. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, apparently they cut um they cut everyone's bonuses, but the CEO <laughs> kept her almost four million dollar bonus. Wow. And she made a video about. Addressing that issue, okay. and basically her video was just get to work, get back to work. Yeah, guys, yeah. So keep working. Basically, it was get back to work. It wasn't that I didn't save it. I would have played if I saved it, but it was basically you know what we could do we could uh, get back to our, our customers. We give them a hundred percent. But she didn't say anything about nothing. They're like, so you still making four like, million? A year. There's a lot of platitudes and a lot like, of actually, circular talking. Year. That's because yeah. you're poor. Yeah, 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 yeah. you I'm don't poor. know what to do with that money. Yeah, yeah pull yourself up you by your stupid bootstraps. poor. Yeah, <laughs> stupid poor. Yeah, don't talk to me, cur. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, no, honestly, I, I guess I get why people get I mean, into service workers now because they're, they're entitled dicks. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of people have like a main character I mean, syndrome whenever they're in a place that. You know, has any types of service? I'm antagonist. That mm-hmm. might be yeah. my favorite. Tag I'm on the Reddit most room. important. Yeah, they yeah. think they're the most important. No one else matters at this moment. What about my order? What about my this? What about my that? Not realizing there are humans behind yeah. the counter. Yeah, behind, behind these processes. Technology, man, it made us um, and our like patients go to nil. We have seconds yeah. of patience. Not even once we. It's that input damn something TikTok. we expect output. It is. <laughs> Them Zoomers are on the TikTok. I hope they ban it. <laughs> it's true. It's true. They're gonna ban it though. They're trying to ban it. TikTok and their lives away. They are. They are. They are. Is what uh, I've been hearing. Sorry yeah, to be yeah. So country there all of a sudden, but we're there all now. Right. Um, we're there let now. Me... Um, I will say that we all. F- I, I got nothing on that. I didn't play anything. I swear. Oh, I, swear. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I will also say mm. um, underappreciated ones. Uh, Teachers, uh, I'll say law enforcement and uh, pl- and plumbers as well, um, which I guess is separate from custodians and whatnot and yeah. uh, sanitation workers. So, um, but plumbers yeah. already get paid bank, but they they do probably deserve a little bit more. Still deserve way more, bro. It took me I don't know HVAC th- like three episodes HVAC. of dirty HVAC. jobs HVAC. Every every dirty job, jobs. every job mm-hmm. on dirty jobs. Literally bro, every single six job. Mm-hmm. Six figures. Minimum six figures. Immediately. You need six figures. If you're not, we have failed as society. Saint bro. Micro. My God, you tell bro. It took me one episode of seeing the guy who was in the sewers, and they're like just roaches crawling all over his outfit. Yeah. He's just like, ah, it's whatever. It's whatever. And Mike was like. Like the whole time, freaking out, and I was just like, "That man should be a millionaire." Yeah, why? Why doesn't he have a mansion? He is doing (laughs) and holding together society. Okay, (laughs) like what is going on right now? My God, dude! And I'm supposed the other one. He showed me um, was like cow or like horse rearers or whatever. Oh yeah, Um, I've seen that one. That's awful. Again, dude, I'm just like this. Ain't I'm not doing this. Cow or horse rearers? Yes. Like, like, well, what about farmers? In farmers general. in general, yeah. farmers in yeah. general, mm-hmm. farmers in general, yeah. I think need to come back. Um, well, no, they're still there. It's just that people don't know where their food comes from. Yeah. You guys yeah. should watch the mm-hmm. um, that set. Uh, what's his name? John Oliver did a segment on farmers recently for last week tonight. I watched it on yeah. Monday. 
Let me try. It's basically this. Like they don't know where the food comes. People from. People just don't know. And they yeah. don't understand how, what it takes. to Everybody fall. loves shitting on Middle America yeah. and all yeah, those stupid yeah, hicks yeah, don't yeah, know yeah. nothing. Yeah. And then it's like <laughs> then you, next thing you know, you go to the grocery store, you ain't got no carrots. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Where's right? our carrots? Call yep. the president. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah think and, of the and it also, it's freaky because um that, that loss of knowledge of like where food comes, um like heavily impacts why we keep getting more and more genetically modified food. Like we mm-hmm. just keep getting more and more requests for this food. There's more demand, and so we have to create supply, and so we have to make a mass. We have to. I'm not. I shouldn't say clone, but we have to make as much like chicken and cows as possible in order to feed this demand that we're doing. And like, if we don't, does our society fall apart, or can we just be wise and like figure out food better for everyone? Figure out how to grow food more efficiently and not have giant monopolies on like these food companies. You know, mm. there's like one. That's about that goes back to consumption. Though. I'm trying to get there. Yeah, it's my fault. Um, but because uh, my main issue just keeps coming back to like one company owns like all of our food, and so like we because we don't know where our food comes from, we keep making a higher demand of food because the average person doesn't kill their food anymore, so they don't care about how many steaks they're going to have in a week or you know, and, yeah. and the consumption's up high in a lot of other countries. They're like, hey, stop eating steak every single day. Stop this amount of. We have to kill things to create this amount Listen, of meat. I've always said meat should be a commodity. It should be a luxury. It, it should be something that you eat maybe like I feel you. once once a month, maybe. Maybe once or twice a month if you can afford it. I and completely, it should be more it should it co- should cost more money. I, Victor I disagrees. I'm at once I could do Honestly, my end goal is maybe two, self three times a week. living, man. I'm talking chickens, yeah, quail, or yeah. well, not quail, excuse me, Cornish game hens, turkeys. Yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe even some goats, right? Yeah. And I can't do that till we move. But right, like right, I'm right. talking, you know, you're, that's your own food. Farm. You know where it that's comes always, from. That's always it's fresh that, mm-hmm. and it's sustainable. Yeah. And you get little, you get you get your little chickens. I mean, yeah. homesteading's the American mm-hmm. dream. Kill. I'll tell you that right now. Like, no, you leave you leave the chickens alone. You kill the turkeys <laughs> and you kill the hen or the mm-hmm. cornish game hens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The chick, you get the free eggs. From the chickens. Yeah, man. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. You get the free <laughs> chickens. I'll tell you right now, bro. Get like two, like a acre. Honestly, is is. That's awesome. plenty, technically, but dude, if you get like five acres, like you That's can live of off grid. Like mm-hmm. you're living off grid. If you're living, if you do it the right way, are settled in the right locations. Like I wouldn't want that in Florida, yeah. but uh, at least South Florida, I should say, I wouldn't want yeah, that there. I'm it's just too expensive. Better. Like just more north, it cost is better. Period. Yeah, There's yeah, more land available, um, and like there are ways, man. And yeah. it's just it's just more efficient. But the more and more people that need to be on grid, the more and more every law and thing of our government is going to affect everybody's life. When originally, like, yeah, we... <sighs> Again, my, my brain... Just, a man fucking gets you, yeah, Trey. Yeah, I know. My brain just keeps going to, like, all the redlining and all that crap. But I'm like, no. And, like, a, and, like, on paper, bro, like, everyone should want to have, like, what was happening with suburbs. Like, I'll eat, every person got, like, a yeah, half Yeah, but not everybody know how to farm for land. No. Bro, listen. Like... A half everybody, century ago, everybody can learn though. A they wild the, amount of people they had the didn't means. know how to farm. And like a lot of people did know these basic skills that would help your own home and the yeah, area. They were also you. self-employed. And True. all everyone was self-employed. Stores were the bottom floor uh, of our homes. We lived on the second floor. Like I mean, we, and also we was Kangs. But yeah. also we was Kangs. We was Kangs. We was Kangs. We was Kangs. You know, we was. Modernization, That's baby. That's true. Modernization, yeah. capitalism. People outgrown their own instincts and their own, you know. We got soft. Their own abilities, so yeah. <laughs> I'm good being soft. Hey, yeah, a lot yo. of us want up like the mountain. What <laughs> packs? <Super laughs> <pretty, yo. laughs> I flex too hard. It's right, scary. Uh, <laughs> top respected. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's so scary. Top respected uh, uh, jobs. God, the door. Oh. Pick something. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Top respected jobs. Number one, doctor. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, doctor, lawyer. Mm. Lawyer's not respected anymore, but still. I lawyer, paid lawyer's not respected anymore. They're lawyer's paid. at 63%. Yeah, not oh. respected, but paid. Yeah. So, doctor's number one. Doctor's number one. Like medical child. doctor, I assume? So everyone yeah. needs a doctor, you know? Yeah, so. I mean, yeah. Gladly. <clears throat> this is from. Uh, Shout out to my optometrist. Called. I gotta go see mine. I feel that. I feel that. I need to get my description redone. Uh, this is from Jacques Buffet. Oh. He's a career expert on his website called Zeddy.com. Uh, let's see. Firefighters. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, that'd hard, be my first guess. It's hard to not yeah. like firefighters. I Scientists mean, are up there. You know. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oddly enough, farmers are up there. Let's let's go. Go. Hey, everyone's let's go. realizing it. 
Everyone's yeah, shout out to farmers. Yeah, more more people. Teachers learning. are at eighty two. Nurses okay. are up there. Okay. Members of the military are about eighty. Seventy and down are sanitation workers, police officers, who should be at one. Software developers. <laughs> <laughs> Software developers. Well, that's another episode. Lawyers yeah, at sixty three. Yeah, Athletes at sixty three. The lowest one. Can you guess what the lowest one is? The most, like, the least respected? Yeah. <laughs> journalists. No, not journalists. Damn. Rip. They're, they're down there, though. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Does strippers count as a job? I mean, yeah. Sex work? That's probably not. No, sex no. Why would that, why why would that be? Workers. Why would but that it's be not low? In Explain yeah, yourself. Because, no, we're going for respect. And so if we're going yeah. Like, yeah. So the people of America. You don't respect so you don't sex workers? No, 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 no. I'm saying. Mm. Very curious. I'm saying I, I do respect them. I work at a Renaissance fair, bro. The Venn diagram of, like, BDSM people and, like, fantasy. It's a circle, okay? Like, I respect them. And He's simultaneously in America, I know that uh, <laughs> the Christians are wild. And so they have hated. I'm going to have to back them up on this one. You know, they, they, they've hated sex workers for a long time. I respect them. But I know that if we're going by who is respected in the country, America's wild, bro. We, we shared titties all over the TV, but then tell children yeah. don't Most believe in sex. Most disrespected job. You know. Least respected. Least respected job. Who do you hate right now? That's fucking oh, up. Politicians? Yeah, dog. Oh, Has to be politicians, yeah. right? The, the oh, politicians. Yeah. 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 That makes coming. sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. DeSantis and his boys. What's the bottom five? Obviously, we got yeah, politicians. Yeah. politicians. Uh, bottom five is um, members of the clergy, religious leaders. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, TV newspaper, social media influencers, yeah. reality TV stars, <laughs> politicians. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good God. That, that scans. Yeah. That scans. That scans super hard. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's honestly nice. though, like I got mad respect for reality TV stars. Like you're just gonna get yeah, paid like straight, seven figures yeah. for just being a host. scrutinized like, too. <laughs> yeah, just like, Shaq, get the bag and for being scrutinized online. Yeah, for sure, you're, you're I just acting a fool on TV yeah. for everybody. Act a fool. Amusement. Know that everyone's same with athletes. They deserve all the money Ooh. that they get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but they're way up there on the little respect I, list. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I agree. Oh, God, I can't. Can no, I res- I respect and want the athletes to be paid. I want the coaches to not be paid as much, and I want the schools that they are in to not be paid as much. And I want more of the money that goes into NFL to just kind of come back to the country. Um, personally, I nah, we know sports too much. No, yeah. no, I agree. I I feel you. That's great. And also the crap load of money that we throw into sports. Bro, we could, we could end world hunger after like two, three years. Jaylen yeah, but then how many resigned. Super Bowls are we going to win if we end world hunger? Right. <laughs> Don't you got to be hungry for the win? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. How, how, many, how many Super Bowl wins Yeah, what do you Senegal think it's called have? the Super Bowl? Bowl, right? bro. Oh, man. Right? God, I yeah. can't even. We're hungry for, oh hungry for the dub. Yeah. Come on, get, get, get together, bro. Get sports, together. my bad. Sports, sports, sports. My bad, my bad. Come on. Jesus can AI do the job of service workers in which jobs? I um, mean, they can do tasks, but they can't do the whole job. Okay. Interesting. Like a, a robot can indeed. I said, go, a, I said AI. AI. Okay. I mean, sure. It could be a robot too. It could be AI. Yeah. yeah. Robot. It extends to robot. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. They right. can take the order, put the order in. They could put, pick up the order, put no, it on they the can table. Cook. They, they can, can cook it as well. They can do, they, no, I agree. They can cook it. They can bring to if the table. Them, yeah, if you give them the parameters. There is yeah. no depth of conversation, creativity, interaction, intimacy between you and the person doing it, though. That's what, that's so, what like, we'd be missing. The food will be delicious. I'm going to get my will order. It though? I don't know about delicious. Will I don't it know about delicious. It's got no soul. They yeah, can't, yeah, they can't put their foot in it. You know, so like it's... It's a metal it's, foot. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it, it is going to be food. You're going to get filled. You're going to leave there. It's probably going to be super Here's efficient. Here's your nutritious paste. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm saying there's no there's no soul. Yeah, man. there's no interaction yeah. either, you know? Like no matter how good the AI is gonna be, I'm gonna know it's an AI. And until it gets to like full sentience, well at that point. Well no, see you say that the person though. working yeah. for mm-hmm. you say that. They had that photography competition where the winning the winning photog- winning photograph was an AI generated image. <gasps> I did. Yeah, the guy did. The guy did it as like a. He even admitted it. He's like, this is a social experiment, bro. You got socially experimented on. I'm going to turn down the prize money. By the way. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah. I saw that. I mean, respect. I mean, you got that. You also got what was that? Um, that Drake and uh, Drake and uh, the song. Yeah, Drake and Weekend song. That's all AI. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, people like to like they like to post that image on uh oh, you know from iRobot where he's like, can a robot write a symphony? Yeah, and it's like yeah. apparently yes. yes. <laughs> Funny enough, this actually yes, came can. up uh, this morning when I, I I I don't know. My brain was completely scattered today, and I was like, 
what's super the, hard to that? super hard to focus. Thank you, thank you so much. But I had to write this email to uh, hotel. Drake. <laughs> no, twenty one. Oh. I was asking if he could do stuff. <laughs> <You> do <laughs> As for my last email, as for as last for email. you hit a rich flex. <laughs> but strong, uh, I had strong. to write this email to um, a hotel like pro- and hotel and property management like company for like to introduce like the product and shit. And I was like, I'm having a hard time writing it. So I was like, yo, chat GPT, help me out here. Yeah. And I'm like, <clears throat> introduce Moby clocks to hotel management. And it, I'm like, fire. That's pretty good. You'll be doing it. I'm like, fire. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dunzo. Perfect. The Chad GBT, man. Bars. Done. Bars. I got to write some shit. I'm with work, it. Actually, let me. Let me yeah, bro, I'm bro. telling you, bro. Yeah. You can use Chad GBT to start a whole business. I'll man. tell you, like, you can. I, us can. three over here are going to be all right if AI takes over because somebody's got to work on the damn. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I'm screwed. That's somebody's got to keep the lights on. Yeah, that's true. That's bro. your boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Just, fair. It's that's like us. Charlie and Chocolate Factory, bro. They mm-hmm. replaced Charlie's dad with the. He, he screwed caps on like toothpaste tubes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They replaced him with a robot. But then he got a job fixing that robot. I'm like, mm. <laughs> easy peasy. Yeah, Rose going to be needed. True. So uh, yeah, AI hey, could do some of the work, but it can't do. It it's, can't, at least it, not yet. It, it won't relate to it. Me. It's how much you believe in like interaction, though, because there right. are plenty of people who are like, no, 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 I do not want you. That's interaction. this world. That's you know? what the yeah. world yeah. is now. We're, and we're turning to that more and more. We're starting to see it, and uh, like, we're getting why, closer to the singularity, man. It's why you people. get robot it's calls, true. like um, the robot call calls trees. are even worse with the AI voice. Yeah, now. They are, call yeah. trees. They're gonna actually think this person, and that's why you got like. Uber Eats and shit like blowing up and now after even after especially after COVID they're like leave my shit at my door and don't bother don't, don't, don't even yeah. speak to me yeah, yeah. I don't want the door. I want zero human interaction yeah, no contact like that's why like our generation has like so much social anxiety just to make a phone call yeah yeah, you hear it. Um, I don't like talking on the phone. Yeah, no, See? not at all. Yeah. But we're also I unless think, it's with like baby girl or something. But I think that, that's, nah. that's fair. We're hearing about that though, also affecting a lot of the kids in school who like because they are losing a lot of that connection. Um, high school, middle school, I guess even elementary. Honestly, um, they like they're losing a lot of. I don't, don't want to say etiquette. Like I expect them to have to act a certain way, but also. Like, no, they don't know that a kid of, like, being around people anymore. No, these kids are wild. They only have oh, yeah. the mindset of being around friends and fellow gamers or fellow They think that the internet is a real life. Is, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and that's how you treat it at school. Yeah. That's not how it works, my guy. Yeah. There's etiquette you have to have in certain workplaces because, like, of the efficiency of getting the information to you. Like, it's not even about, oh, you need to be nice because they're a teacher. Like, no, no, no. You are literally going to miss information. Because you are not focused on the fact that this person is trying to teach you, right? You know, and uh, that sucks and it's frustrating because then also DeSantis is like ruining. Oh, good. Edu- everything the, the respect towards education, Literally everything as a system, and so even though the teachers are great, the kids are they're on their phones. They see what laws are being talked about and how it's affecting the education That's system. That's not what they're reading. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's not what they're doing on their phone. <laughs> and, and, you, and you know Roblox it. exists, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they, they be on that TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> like, Ban it now. Oh, my God. They're TikToking. TikTok is doing nothing that, like, Instagram, <laughs> Facebook. I f- no, they're all, they're all doing, doing the same thing. Arguably, the same thing. arguably, they are, though, thanks to their algorithms, which all are doing the same thing. But we can see that, like, the stories that they share in America are very different than the stories that they share like, in China. Elsewhere. Well, yeah. Know, well, the their laws and rules are different in China. Yeah. And, I mean, the stories from America are different than the stories in Belgium. It's no, for sure. Germany. For sure. It doesn't matter. The laws are different different we places. We need to go back. Ted Kaczynski was right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we need to return to I don't monkey. know who that is. <laughs> That's, that's, really that's another episode. Okay, okay. Another, um, we need another conspiracy episode also. Yes, desperately. <laughs> we'll plan How many jobs that. would be dysfunctional without, without service workers? What? How many jobs would be dysfunctional? Bro, all society. Yeah, what do you mean? All society. society. So are you talking about like if Thanos snapped his fingers yeah. and yeah. all the service workers <laughs> in, the, in the world just disappeared? Yeah. We're done. We're done. It's dude. over. We're yeah. screwed. It's, it's over. Society would I feel halt. like. 
Yeah. 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 You've got halt and implode. Society yeah. breaks down probably within 24 hours, and you've got like Mad Max, I want to say, in like two and a half minutes. <laughs> oh, easy, bro. Yeah. yeah. The second yeah, electricity yeah, yeah. turns off, like I do not know how to go to a power plant yeah, no and turn yeah. on the generator. Yeah. I have no idea. I'm going to go there. I'm going to see yeah. a room that has a wild amount of nozzles in it. I'm going to press three buttons. It's going to overpower itself, explode, and then kill us all. Mm-hmm. So, like, no. I, it Like, we're done. We need to, yes, within like a couple I'm, weeks. That's what I'm saying. Like, two <laughs> weeks out, I'm going to put on, like, my, my coolest hockey mask and my best fetish I'm leather. I'm throwing on the armor, become bro. a post-apocalyptic warlord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> or throw it on the armor. Yeah. I'll, I'll, join your, down. I'll join your faction, bro. Oh, let's we're do here, it, bro. Man. We're here. Yeah, we got it. We got sure. it. Right. Uh, second command call down. I uh, got, got you on the armory. Um, That's what I mean. Got you, team, and uh, this work mean, out. I got you guys. Yeah. <laughs> we got each other. We got, we got each you. other. Yeah. This is team. We work gonna out. That's how we survive. Right? We gonna be all right. That's yeah. how we survive. We're gonna be all right. Yeah, we would. We'd, we'd probably collapse. Yeah, no. Because sure. I mean, like, you got to think about it. America's like, not ready for it. Like we were talking before, how many jobs are technically service jobs? So it's Almost, yeah, mo- most pretty of much them. most of them. Yeah, so, yeah. And the ones, the only ones that are left are the jobs that don't fucking matter, like brand ambassador or like <laughs> product manager or some shit. <laughs> don't do that. Christian's a product manager. He does a good job. All right, shout, shout out, out Christian. Shout, shout out, out to Christian. Shout, shout out Christian. Christian. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, no, yeah, I'm just uh, the one thing. That, I'm sure you've seen it, Chris, because you're on Twitter too much, I like am. me. <laughs> but you ever like they got those "Get Ready with Me" TikToks? Yes, yes. yeah, I've been. Yeah, yeah those, I've like this, it. dude, like these literal Patrick Bateman, like in real life. Yep, vapid, vain, <laughs> go to work, get like three lattes, do some yoga, write code for like two hours, and go that. home. And I it's saw like, that. Well, yeah. right code for two. That's, that's, <laughs> no, it made that's it, what he is. If that, I, I if saw that, it. he was like life of a mil- life of a twenty nine year old millionaire. No, no, wake up, consultant. Cons- if <laughs> consultants, that's the worst, like least needed job in the entire <laughs> world. If you're a consultant, I'm sorry. Oh I'm being honestly, you know, if you're a consultant, shout out. You're making fucking good money. You're making good money. You're making more <laughs> more than you deserve. Yeah. Ed, Ed, Ed used to be a consultant, actually. Yeah, Ed he's, he's an IT consultant. That's yeah. why he was getting paid though. He's getting money. Getting racks. Those, what do you think of those? Like, uh, felt like learning yeah. how to use computers. <laughs> I mean, it's different when I guess we're talking about something like that. I'm talking, you know, you get about the, like, the, the like nebulous like business consultant. You know, business I mean, consultant. the title literally is yeah, just no. business marketing consultant. consultant. Oh, the about uh, like your synergy consultant. Is it like account, life coach. account advisor? Yeah. yeah, no, it's, I don't know. It's like some some 28-year-old white girl from Silicon Valley. That's, nice. uh. <laughs> nice. I like it. You know, no, I'm going to offend somebody if I keep going. You Sorry, are. just going to yeah, leave it okay. there. I mean, okay. we offended a lot of people. <laughs> My bad on that one earlier, guys. I, I No, that's okay. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm not, sorry. I'm not I am so offended. You. I'm so sorry. No, I'm keeping dude. it. Just so people know your true colors. Damn. That's true. And it's not black. That, wow. Wow. Damn. You're actually correct. I don't believe in the concept and of white, white concept. and black. And so he's actually very correct. I am indeed many shades of brown. And uh, that's important to know, guys. Okay. Because it's fake. And America made a whole system off of fake ideas. Why are you getting aggressive with it? Because yeah. it's annoying. Politics. All right, are some jobs um, more about. respected or more lauded because they're harder to get into? Like being a doctor, right? Minimum eight years in medical school. Yeah. Well, it's like that's so, I you guess. You can't be a doctor for everything. You have to pick a I don't know, I think it's less, side. It's less what? of how difficult it is to get in, more of like their contribution to society, I think. You think so? That's why lawyers were so integral for a while ago. They're like, well, yeah, they get paid, but... Uh, you're going to be doing the important things and building wealth for our family and, and doing that. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess it kind of depends, too, kind of on, both like, just on the job, I guess, really. Go ahead. I don't know how to put it. Because what makes a doctor more respectable than, like, a sanitational engineer? Right? Well, I mean, part of it, too, is, like, there are certain jobs well, that make a lot of money and you don't need to do, you know, you don't, there's there's no school you have to go to or no grind you have to do. You know, sometimes you just fall into it, like right? CEO. You get lucky. Right, right, right. Or, you know, or you could be, like, a, you know, not that, you know, a Twitch streamer doesn't do a lot of work. You put the work in, but, like, honestly, it's a roll of the dice if you get, like, Huge like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Twitch streamers yeah. do a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, of they do. I, mean, I guess it's maybe the reality TV star. I feel like is the right example. Nah. Right versus a doctor. Reality. Kim Kardashian's making way more money. Right. No one knows what she does. Well, no, she's a businesswoman. No, that's no, what she she's does. Famous. She's just famous. She's a consultant. She's a business <laughs> consultant. <laughs> she's a business consultant. Yeah. She's a fame consultant. Right. Yes. She's a brand ambassador. Mm. She's a consultant. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Making that's a lot true. more than a doctor. A but yeah. doctor, I would argue, gets more respect. For and sure. that's because, mm-hmm. it, one, you're providing a service to the community. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They know you grinded to do it because you're you, you had to. a doctor. You kind of yeah. have to. Yeah. 
And two, I mean, you're like, I don't know, like, you're, like you're a doctor. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, it takes a lot to learn the human body. Like, yeah. If I become a doctor, like, best believe everyone is going to call me doctor. Like, I guess, oh, hundred percent, you gotta be called doctor. Like, I was telling, what was it Natalie Schwab? I was like, listen, the second you are Doctor Schwab, I, I have doc- nothing doctor, else to call you. Doctor, yeah, doctor, I'm calling you PhD. doctor, doctor, yeah. Do- no, doctor, doctor, doctor. That's all I'm saying. I concur. Like, I'm saying that every time I talk <laughs> yeah, to her. Yeah. Oh, Doctor Schwab, good to see you. I concur. I, I just said nothing. Yeah. Exactly. What's the prognosis, doctor? <laughs> every time, I because I, I, you want to give that respect. Well, to the person. you know what? You know who would tell you that doctors aren't so great? Nurses. That's <laughs> fair. I mean, because they do the bulk of the work, <laughs> right? They come up and check on you. They take your blood. Okay. They make sure your temperature is correct. They make sure you got the right, right. IV. The doctor comes and says that you got cancer. He's out. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it, Al. Stop it. He's out. Right? No, there's more that goes into <laughs> it. <laughs> hey, man. You're going to die. The bear of <laughs> yeah. The bear hey, sorry. of rice. Hey, sorry your, uh, sorry your kid got obliterated by a truck. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I got to see time in he's three. He's isekai now. <laughs> isekai now. Don't worry. But he's isekai now. <laughs> He's with Anna. He's, he's, with, he's with his wife who's now. In another world. <laughs> <laughs> he was reincarnated as a dragon. I'm sure he's very happy. He's fine. Now. <laughs> Ooh, it Jesus. says here he got reincarnated as an office appliance. Yeah. Ooh, he'll actually probably still have a good life. Yeah. I was reincarnated yeah. as a toaster. Will be used oh, a lot, just saying. Much in Full of crumbs. But anyways. Uh, uh, but yeah, the, the nurses, you bomb. know. They do so much more work, it seems, than the doctor. No, no, it's a lot of work sometimes. to like record a TikTok after your patient dies <laughs> and go out, you know. God, hit, that hit, was so hit the, bad. Hit the gritty. That was so bad. <laughs> Sorry. God, some people are so uncomfortable. That was a rough video. Yeah, that was a rough video. Oh, yeah. hey. Yeah, sorry. Sorry you're hurting after that accident. Here's your yeah. morphine. By the way, yeah. let me pop and lock it real quick. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just damn. I just For all intents and purposes, we love nurses. But yeah, we no, do. sorry, sorry to the nurses. We love nurses. Y'all gotta get off TikTok though. I, I just want to say though, on, on the point of the doctors, nurse things, I, I really want to add in the factor of like time with this in like the time period. I mean, because like doctors, like three, four centuries ago, were not at all really respected. It's like oh, headache anywhere near the same. Yeah, drill you know, your head open. Doc, it was, doctors were scary, like. Mad scientists for like a, a solid portion they didn't of know history. What to do. They just did everything. They just did it. They had, how literally? How could they know without experimenting on it? There's a whole portion of time when Nothing they had to experimented on black people for a long time. For also, them. this like they had to be grave robbers for a long time because mm-hmm. they legitimately. How else am I going to learn the human body beyond getting a human body or just reading yeah. this crappily reproduced book that's hopefully printed on decent paper with decent ink? No, I need to go get a cadaver myself. Be a mad scientist in my house. Learn the body. Claim on the doctor, hopefully go to random state, country, whatever, miles away, myself by carriage that Ezekiel or whatever gathers the rations for. <laughs> After you? five months of my endeavor there and questing and learning of those cadavers, I've come back with a piece of paper. I can now go across the country with my satchel of random, like, torture devices and hopefully heal people. Mm. Doctors, you'd have one for every, like, few hundred to thousands of people sometimes. So, like, mm-hmm. nowadays... It's about business, and like it's it's very different now. Nurses, a a nurse today has a, like significantly more knowledge of like what a doctor did like centuries ago. So like, so you can be you can be an EMT and know infinitely more than a doctor did a hundred years ago. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. And like that 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 part blows my mind. And yeah, so like yeah. I see where the respect would um, at least dwindle or differ. You know, like in. Spady moment, but at Spady, right next to us is Williams Cottage. She was a nurse and midwife during the 30s. We weren't allowed to be doctors during that time. Right, so, right, like, right, nurses right. were the closest we had to a doctor, but it was really like a name only thing. Like, she was a doctor yeah. for that area. Like, I didn't know. Like, the average dude does not know that a baby is not a demon. <laughs> it's actually an umbilical cord wrapped around their neck. You could, <laughs> you really save their life right now Mm-mm-mm. if you just don't freak out, think they're trying to kill you. Ah, and there's just thing right. That's their cord. Save them. Yeah. You know, you should wash your hands. Mm-hmm. If you know that, you that, save the life of that, the woman. You all know the story about that the guy? Child. Mm-hmm. Who? The guy, like the original doctor, like the surgeon who like discovered that washing your hands before your surgery. Like, no. He, like, he, like, he, like he's the progenitor for germ theory, right? Mm. He was mocked and ridiculed out of the medical community and committed to an insane asylum and died. What? Yes. Yeah. Because he My told people God. to wash their hands. Yeah, that sounds oh. about right. That that sounds about right. That I forget the like dude's name. 
and like we, we'll, I'm sure we'll look it up later, and yeah, I'll, I'll show y'all. But you. like, it's Dog, the amount of wild. Fucked up we had to do to get to this point now. Yeah, and we're still kind of. Yeah, like, I'll tell you the good thing about back of that. Like, I feel like the doc, like the doctor aesthetic. Has already peaked. So like we're going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've only been going down. Like Plague that, Doctor was super sick, but I feel like the Doctor aesthetic <laughs> peak when they had like the little, the little silver the thing, silver, the, yeah, the little the, 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 the big coat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like an stethoscope. stethoscope. That's like that's peak. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. peak. That was strong. That was strong. <laughs> I see that. I'm like, that's a doctor. That's a doctor. I know it. Yeah. I can fact. tell 100 percent that guy's a doctor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Throw the gloves on. It was good. The glow with the gloves. Right, yeah. that was on point. Yeah, that was on point. I, doctor, <laughs> one day I'll bring a, uh, I'll bring a nurse to the pod, and we could talk to them. Oh, true. Hell yeah, Ooh. I know. I know a nurse. I know a couple of nurses. Sam. Oh, trust me, I know. Yeah, we, we know a couple of nurses. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Because I know it's tough work. I'm not going to disparage nurses. I am not going like to that. disparage anyone best. who deals with dying people all but the time. I know. So, or people in general. Or people in general. You yeah. know, I give heavy respect to all service people when I see them at literally any point in time because <laughs> that's <know>. hard. <laughs> it's really difficult. We appreciate all service workers here on this podcast. We appreciate the services you clicking on a lot about pod.com. Damn it, I'm also say Clicking, uh, <laughs> clicking subscribe. Yeah, right do YouTube. us the service. Um, do us the service of listening to this podcast on Friday when it comes out, and also watching the YouTube on Saturday when it comes out. We appreciate your work and we appreciate your service. Also, shout out to all our military members. We appreciate your service as well. It's very important. Shout out to Daniel. That's for sure. Dan, yeah. DC, come back. Oh, and Big O and Little O. Guess a little field. Now, what an outro. Maybe Thompson. Um, you swear this man's done it before. Yeah. No, this is brand new to me. Listen. <laughs> we appreciate everybody listening to the podcast. Hopefully, the sound is good. If it sucks, I'm still working. I'm still working. Just bear with me now. All right? There's a lot more nothing. Thank you for listening. Peace. Yay. Jenny.